Judging from the title of this video, you thought I was going to be reviewing Sonic 06 or something. Well, no. Randomly, the Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter posted that a new direction was coming for Sonic, and then just a few short hours, The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog was released, a completely free visual novel starring my most favorite Sonic the Hedgehog characters, so I obviously had to check it out. So, let's do a quick review of this very short visual novel. I guess per usual, a plot summary, but if you're expecting a crazy plot, no. This is very simple, and I'm not even going to bother warning about spoilers. It's Amy Rose's birthday, and she decided to celebrate with a murder mystery party on a high-tech train. You play as a new employee of the train who is apparently good with a microwave. Not really a flex, I can make some pretty good noodles in the microwave, just saying. Anyway, once the party gets underway, Sonic is murdered, and it's up to you and Tails to pinpoint the culprit. You'll go through every part of the train in pursuit of this mystery. I won't spoil much past that, because, well, it's a simple story, and I have to say that the highlight of this is the character interactions. Some of them made me laugh, and I love the various, and I mean various, references to different aspects of the franchise. There's even a reference to the fact that Shadow likes to eat coffee beans. Anyway, on to the gameplay, but again, this will probably be the quickest part of the whole thing. The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog is a visual novel where you'll be doing a bunch of reading and clicking stuff in order to progress the plot. You'll gather evidence to disprove someone's alibi, and in order to actually accuse them, you have to play this mini-game where Sonic runs in a straight line and collects rings. The game won't progress until you actually successfully get enough rings, so just keep trying and eventually you'll win. Also, you can just adjust the difficulty and the options if you feel it's too much. Yeah, that's really all there is to this game. It's it's just a distraction, shouldn't take more than a few hours of your time. I think the music is a nice listen and the graphics are pretty charming. It's completely free on Steam if you want to experience it for yourself. Long time Sonic fans will get a kick out of this, but if you want a more engaging visual novel, then you need to play the true masterpiece, I Love You Colonel Sanders. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and take care.